Traders have reached my max loss for the day and as you can see here I'm down $6,600 so <laughs> that's it for me I just erased uh, yesterday's profits uh, not yet Monday's profits so I'm still a bit green for the week I had a small green day on Monday so well uh, that happens uh, I have two big losers Tesla and ZM as you can see here and although I have more winners than losers FE Snap and KSS my bigger losers took me under so that's a red day for me what I do want to discuss is um, mainly what happened to FE FE is one of my I mean it is my best winner uh, almost four grand and uh, it's very important uh, to talk a little bit about uh, FE because uh, what happened in FE was a classic trade uh, I mean gap and go trade uh, which worked out fine but uh, was kind of interesting because of this very interesting spike up that you're seeing here so there's two things I want to discuss in FE today the first one well it's just a very clear gap and go trade stock started down um, tried to move higher failed reversed took it for a short right over here like I should initially came down under the lows looked well and then spiked like crazy over the highs now if you've got yourself a hard stop and some of you mentioned that they did then sadly you were out of this trade why because you just used a hard stop and the stock spiked up like crazy at that point where it moved over the highs in fact from from the place it was to the place it reached that was one point move and I think it took it like five seconds maybe less to get there so you know when stocks are sometimes getting a bit crazy and of course there's a lot of news in FE it was halted twice today uh, after I traded it but um, anyway the thing is if you're using a hard stop which you shouldn't you'll get a lot of these stops I mean that's a very classic way to lose money in a stock that is going your way finally going your way after all I mean after spiking up uh, but um, uh, taking you out on a stop so you see the thing is with stocks they are very volatile sometimes based on news uh, and, and a stock like FE when it just moved over the highs could take you out very easily that's why you're not supposed to be using hard stops hard stops will take you out just on noise and what you should be using is what we call mental stops mental stops is your idea where you should move out but you're not supposed to be moving out too quickly just on noise and that's what happened in FE it started with noise moved over the highs for a second there if you had a hard stop you're out of the game and then it crashed down and that was my best trade today so you know hard stops are very very important one more thing I mean important not to use uh, well I'll add one more thing here which is also very very important if you are just starting out you better use hard stop first few months as a trader I know how stressful it is I know how hard it is to trade without a hard stop so it helps you out mentally to use a hard stop first few months then yes please use hard stops because it helps you out uh, the last thing you want to see when you're just starting out is a spike like that in, in, in FE that could take you off balance so yes if you're starting out use hard stop but if you're trading for more than a few months and you already understand where you are and you've seen a lot of things probably in a few months then please don't use hard stop use mental stop just you know I didn't even I didn't have the time to respond I didn't really understand what was going on there and for a second there it was supposed to take me out the five seconds later maybe less I was in a profit of one more than one point so again use mental stops if you you have some a, a little bit uh, experience but if you're just starting out uh, better use hard stop it helps you mentally the second thing is what happened here when you see FE here trending lower and supposed to continue trading lower this green candle took out my last quantity in FE so I started full size reduce size reduce some more I, I was left with just 100 shares here when it moved over this level here and looked like it may move higher I had a hard stop here 
And that's okay because it was small size and I was uh, busy trading other stocks. So it's right to use hard stop sometimes. I mean, where, where you have a small size left and where you're busy with trading other stocks, when you have too many trades going on, it's not like uh, I would tell you never to use a hard stop. You know, you should be using it ever once in a while. I definitely did use a hard stop and I was taken out here, which was the right thing to do because at that point it looked like FE is going to change direction and move higher. Could that happen? Absolutely, it could happen. I was asked in the trading room, and that's the second thing I want to discuss today, whether we should go long FE. And the answer was, at that point, and the answer was, well, it looks like it's going to move higher, which it didn't, but you never do that with a stock that is down that much. So FE is dramatically down today, is trending lower. And yes, it looks like it's about to change, but that's sometimes just a trap. And you know, when, you, when, you, when you're dealing with a stock that is coming down so strong today and you're thinking, well, I'll catch a falling knife here and I could make a lot of money moving up with the stock because you know, it came down that much. It's probably gonna move up at least a point or maybe I'm gonna have a 50 cent scalp or something like that. Uh, <laughs> sit on the fence, don't do that. Think again. I've done plenty of these trades in my life as a trader. And I failed more than 50% of the time. Yeah, you will have some fantastic winners. Yeah, you'll make some money sometimes. But you'll take the next 100 trades that looks like that. And it does look pretty. It does look like it's a big stock, a big mover. It could, at that point, it looked like it may move higher. Just, you know, don't do it. Don't do it. I, I, I know you feel like you want to do it. I know you feel like you want to click the button right there especially if you're losing money like I am, then you're looking for the next trade that will save you. Well, just don't do it. It's not the right thing to do. It's trending lower. You gotta be extremely experienced to do things like that. And you know, just best thing, best advice I can give you is just stay away, don't do it. I personally don't do it. Some experienced traders, they may have a system doing that. In my opinion, you just, you're not supposed to be even looking for something like that. Anyway, a red day for me, and I really hope you guys are doing better. I know Scott is doing better today, but uh, not me. Um, so, no big deal. I'll recover, I guess. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have fun the rest of your day, and um, enjoy trading. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. Traded has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.